Sharad, I have to ask you, picking up from, you know, everyone being very emotional at this point, your journey too has been very emotional and uh, it seems that on a day before your final, you were still not decided whether you will actually hit the tracks because you had an injury, but you picked up Bhagavad Gita and took out a quote from there to say what really inspired you to go out on the tracks to compete that evening. You know, the thing is, it's so... Uh, such an amazing thing that one day before the competition I was not ready at all, two days before the competition I was saying that you know I'm going to break the world record. So this is what the uncertainty of Games. sports is sports, you know. and yeah the fact that two days, one day before the event I went for my warm sessions and then I was just doing my normal, the way I actually got injured was very simple but like it said you know there was a man who did a lot of activities, did a lot of mountain jumpings and all, he didn't die but he just slipped off a banana peel and died away. So something like that happened to me also. I was like, okay, then I went back to my room. I was crying the whole night to my parents. I was like, you know, it's time to give it up. Like in 2012, I missed Rio. I just let it go in an easy way. Here I trained so well, but look at it. The fortunes are not on my side. And I just cry, went on crying, crying. Then I had a friend gifted me a Bhagavad Gita, which I all, always carry with me, just singing in a pious ways. But then my parents told, see, you always carry it. Just read it this time. I read through it. And then I realized that, you know what? There's more bigger things, like not necessarily the end result is like you've got to win. Just participate, do your kartavya and that is how you get your moksha. That's what is mentioned in that, yeah. So when I entered the arena, I just thank God saying that, Bhagwan, bahut bahut dhanyavad ki mein is region pe aakar ki jumps kar raha hon. Aur baaki ka mujhe pata nahi ki kya honne wala hai. Because I was so under, under confident, like I was demotivated, I was shivering. But then I went on, I told my coach that, you know, I will not let any of my opponents know that I'm injured or I'm sad. I will keep smiling with the pain in my mouth. There's no problem. 